Why are the top companies switching to CGI for the product photography? It's what we're talking about today. What is going on Pro EDU community? It's Dustin Volkema, and today we're talking about why the top companies are switching to CGI for their product photography. Now, before we get into the argument about CGI photography not really being photography and you're a, a digital photographer, traditional photographer doing product photography, doesn't really matter. At the core, it's the same thing. We're using cameras, we're using lights. There's a lot more limits when you're talking about what you can do on a specified budget when you're talking traditional product photography versus CGI photography. Now, they both provide very photorealistic results, and in the CGI side, you're really not limited creatively. So there's a lot of stuff you can do that you can't really do as easily on the traditional side. So let's talk about time and cost. CGI is very efficient that way. Whether you're wanting a lifestyle shot with extravagant environments or you're wanting a simple white studio backdrop, it's very easy and generally very cost efficient to do that in CGI because you don't have to worry about the logistics or the planning that's involved with photography to get products from one place to another and the time that it takes to get there and let alone if we get into some kind of a pandemic situation that slows down production, slows down shipping time, things like that, it's going to make a lot of sense to work with CGI vis visualization. Now, that's not to say that this stuff can't be done in photography. I just like to think of CGI as another tool to add to the skill set that I'm able to provide on the photography side and offer my clients solutions to their primary problems. So a lot of images or a lot of products that you need to get done quickly can be done very easily in CGI. Now, if we start to talk about what the process might look like for customization, We've all seen the online configurators from everything from sneakers to cars, and it's very easy to do that on the CGI side because we're not having to swap out various products, go through the post-production and mask everything out to switch out different fabrics, leathers, lighting scenarios. It's very easy on the CGI side to make those adjustments, and it's going to be a lot more cost-effective for your clients to be able to do it in CGI. Now, there's a lot of stuff that we're also can really bring into play here, and that's the AR VR environment. We see it with IKEA, we see it with many other companies where they're starting to use AR and you can simply view their product in your home. That's something we can't really do with photography. And CGI gives you that flexibility. Now, when it comes to saving time, there are plenty of resources out there. We've got a video, I'll leave a card in whatever corner this is, that will take you guys to a resources and training video that I did that talks about where I like to go for my 3D resources. However, resources can save you a lot of time. And it's very easy to go through and find pre-made or pre-built environments, 3D assets, props, materials, all different types of things that are going to make your life easier. So the time that it's going to take to be able to produce photorealistic results for your clients is not going to be what you think it will be. Yes, you are going to have the investment in time to learn the software or learn the workflow so that you can work with a studio in creating these different images for you. But I treat it just like I do with photography. Sometimes you need a certain lens to get the job done. Sometimes you need certain lights and you rent this and that and get di different gear. It's very much the same way in CGI. On a very tight timeline, a tight deadline, maybe a tight budget, it can be very quick and cost efficient to work on the CGI side so that they don't really have to stress about everything else that goes into getting their products visualized for their needs. Now, one of my favorite things about CGI is that it can pull off any concept that your client is going to want. And it doesn't really matter how crazy that concept is. There's a way to execute that in CGI. Now, there's a lot that can be done in traditional photography. But again, we go back to the cost and time efficiency that we were talking about earlier. And a lot of times CGI is going to lend itself that way. Now, one of the key benefits for product manufacturers, once your 3D model for that product is complete, 
it's very easy to go through and reuse that forever. So once that initial asset is created, you're not really going to have to create it again. And if you have a version two of that product come out, you can just modify the existing model for that and start to make changes, let alone something like a rebranding situation for a company. It makes it very easy to go through and rebrand these products and not have to go and ship those products back off to get photographed where you can just simply change a few textures in 3D and you've got an entirely new branding situation happening with that product. Now let's go ahead and talk about motion graphics and animation. This is something that is very dominated by the CGI industry and it's something that a lot of clients are requesting. So the top companies are wanting to have visualized motion with their products. They want to have certain cabinets opening and maybe the leather on a shoe that's wrapping and doing a lot of cool stuff. So it doesn't really matter whether it's a simple 360 spin that we see a lot on the web or if you're talking a fully animated motion graphics piece for a commercial spot, what have you, a lot of this is really going to be dominated by CGI and done in CGI because it's faster and more cost efficient than hiring a film crew to shoot their product, let alone multiple products at once. Now let's talk about control. One of the biggest benefits of CGI is that it can be very very predictable and your client can control whatever about that image or that line of products they want to. So if they want to boost the level of hyper realism with nice imperfections or if they want to have a perfectly beautiful clean result with zero imperfections, they can go either direction or they can meet somewhere in the middle. And it's very easy to do in CGI and it's very easy for your client to start to art direct. Now, when you're talking products on a mass scale, it's very easy to build different actions, different plugins, different scripts that can start swapping out products one after the other, making that rendering time very quick compared to what you would have to do on set when you're talking photography. So at the end of the day, the reason why the top companies are switching to CGI for their product photography is because it's more cost and time effective it's going to make a lot more sense for them to be able to create assets that they can not only use for their still renders, but motion graphics, animation, AR, VR, different configurators on the web to show multiple different versions and colors of a product that you can get. It's going to start making more and more sense to them. And that's why companies like Ikea are already starting to implement in-house CGI teams to do all of their product rendering because it just makes sense. Now, as product photographers, you have a choice. You can start to learn what these processes are so that you can go through and you can offer those services to a client or not. That choice is really up to you. And it's not something for me where I'm just saying, hey, you have to learn CGI. I don't think you have to learn it at all. It's just really dependent on what, what you want to offer to your clients so that you can just future-proof your business by being able to offer different skills and kind of move along with the times because times are definitely changing with the implementation of photorealistic CGI in this space. So that's all I've got for today. I like to think of CGI as an extension of photography because they both really go hand in hand and they work very well with one another. And as product photographers, you're going to really crush it when it comes to CGI. And you might even find yourself getting quite a bit more inspired to do things more creative than what you have previously because it's not going to require near as much work. So, as always, guys, never stop learning. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video.